The threat posed by enemy submarines to our fleet, combat forces, and coastal shores is steadily increasing because of improvements in speed, operating depth, quieting methods, and submerged endurance. To counter this threat, corresponding improvements in anti-submarine warfare avionics systems, such as MAD, must be achieved. Increasing the MAD effectiveness will result in better localization, classification, and tracking of submerged submarines, including particularly those capable of greater operating depths expected in the future. One phase of the U.S. Naval Air Development Center's MAD improvement program concerns the development of a towed MAD system. This towing technique permits the magnetometer to be housed in the non-magnetic environment of a vehicle towed by the ASW aircraft. The airborne vehicle is constructed of lightweight epoxy plastic reinforced with fiberglass. The vehicle consists of a cylindrical fuselage with a swept wing design. The tow bar is located only eight inches from the vehicle's tapered nose. The towed vehicle and launcher, shown here, are installed on a P-2H aircraft wing bomb rack. The launcher mechanism provides for launching, retrieving, and stowage of the towed vehicle and the tow cable. Towed MAD systems, developed to date for fixed wing aircraft applications, have been installed at various wing and fuselage locations. Flight tests were conducted at the Naval Air Development Center, Johnsville, Warminster, Pennsylvania, Key West, Florida, and Alberta, Canada. Results of these instrumented flight tests indicated that the towed vehicle flies a path corresponding to that of the parent aircraft and is inherently stable during all phases of launching, towing, and retrieving. Flight tests have demonstrated towed MAD systems compatibility with patrol type aircraft operation. The towed vehicle can be launched, towed, and retrieved throughout the P2H aircraft speed range. Of special interest to the pilot of the ASW aircraft is the fact that aircraft maneuverability is not restricted by the towed MAD system. When the airborne vehicle is towed a distance ranging from 100 to 200 feet from the parent aircraft, the magnetometer is found to be removed from the objectionable magnetic environment of the parent aircraft. The exact distance is a function of the aircraft's magnetic characteristics. The more favorable magnetic environment of a non-magnetic vehicle towed behind the aircraft permits the realization of the full potential of the new atomic level type magnetometer. Towed MAD, therefore, provides substantially increased MAD detection ranges and detection probabilities. 
Code MAD also eliminates the requirement for extensive aircraft compensation, which has been a major and very serious fleet problem. Two MAD towed vehicles are shown being flight tested simultaneously from one aircraft to evaluate the gradiometer concept. At the MAD operator's position is a simple power on-off switch and a towed vehicle in-out switch. No special training is required to operate the towed vehicle system. Towed MAD systems have also been successfully flight tested from carrier-based aircraft. The launch unit is shown installed under the port wing of an S2F aircraft. MAD towed vehicle and launcher systems have proven to be extremely reliable. An MAD towed vehicle launcher system developed at the Naval Air Development Center has been used extensively by the U.S. Navy Oceanographic Office for worldwide magnetic survey work. The National Aeronautical Establishment, Ottawa, Canada, has fabricated a similar system for magnetic research work. Over 3,000 flight hours have been logged on fixed-wing aircraft employing the towed MAD system. To date, only one towed vehicle has been lost, this loss being clearly attributed to a malfunction in the launching mechanism. Towed MAD systems catapulting and arrested landing suitability tests were successfully conducted by the Naval Air Test Facility, Lakehurst, New Jersey. The flush deck catapult is shown catapulting an S2F2 aircraft with a towed MAD system installed on the port wing. The Mark 7 Mod 2-3 arresting gear is shown arresting the S2F2 aircraft. No adverse runout characteristics were observed, either on the catapult or arresting gear. During this performance evaluation, maximum acceleration takeoffs and mirror approach landings were accomplished without difficulty. In the past, short cable stability has presented a problem when launching and retrieving towed bodies from aircraft. However, the nose towed vehicle developed at the Naval Air Development Center for the MAD system is very stable at short cable lengths. The MAD vehicle short cable stability characteristics are demonstrated by stopping the vehicle at cable lengths of 25 feet, 10 feet, 5 feet, two feet, and finally one foot before being secured in the launcher. New concept MAD towed vehicles and launchers are being designed with a 50% reduction in size and weight. A low drag launcher is shown installed on the wing and fuselage of a carrier-based aircraft. In summary, the towed magnetic airborne detection system provides for a substantially increased localization, classification, and tracking capability. Additionally, and perhaps most important, the system eliminates the requirement for aircraft magnetic compensation, a requirement posing a substantial problem to our naval fleet.